Welcome back to this tutorial. My name is Steve Jonathan Emmanuel, CEO of Jabi Concepts Nigeria. And um, we've been looking at how we can design and develop our own bulk SMS website. How you can create a bulk SMS website for yourself and how you can do the same thing for your clients or for anybody how you can transform any website to start sending bulk sms and i tell you um the least you could charge someone for this if you maybe want to do brotherly love you know is about 25 30 000. otherwise you should be charging as high as 50 000 for one project for one bulk sms website you create you should be charging as high as 35 25 30 000 rather um, I am I'm showing you this video we've done a uh, quite a number of things um, using our own we have to pull down our book SMS website to rebuild it for you to see how it works from the scratch and I'm very sure I don't know if you follow the other videos but you we've done how you can get your domain name how you can get your hosting how you can get your cPanel details and um, how you can con uh, log in we've also installed a software that you get online it's available on virtually every host you use and then uh, we've also looked at um, the components we, were, we used the component that is the feature the function the the, the particular uh, software that will make your website to send bulk sms it's called components they are extensions actually and uh, it's going to extend your website to start sending bulk sms so people can use it to send bulk sms we've done that and then uh, we've also looked at menus especially for your members menus that's your clients people that are using your site we've also looked at your admin menu um, we are supposed to be looking at menu position which I know we have also touched a little but I just want to show us something there before I go further and um, permit me to go away from the slide um, this is our website are we this is our website enjoysmsbox.com and um, with what we did this is what we have on the website but you could see that personally I'm not too okay with the team we used I'm also not too okay with the way it's looking at so the first thing I'm gonna do the team is as good as your team is same thing as your template you know if you're used to some they call it team in some software they call it templates I'm not too okay with the templates we use because I don't like um, um, the position of some things here how it's been positioned there so what I want to do first is to change the particular template we are using I want to change the template we are using and you could see that if you follow the other video I showed you how to install a template and we installed momentum first to see the positions on this template what you simply do is click on this eye here and a new tab a new uh, browser tab will open and then you will see the positions this particular template has but I don't want to use this template I want to use a default template that came with the software we are using uh, so that you don't think you have to go and buy one premium template or very expensive template I seem to like it it's called Vantage it's called Vantage you get it on version 3 of the software we are using which is also a free software so what I'm simply going to do is to click on default here and you see that this place is now ticked with um, the star is now yellowish unlike the other ones it is now the default it's showing default if I take my cursor on it you see default while others will tell you set default so if I go back to our website the front end of our website and refresh you see that it has changed yes it has changed wow it's looking i think it's looking better now i seem to like it now 
it's looking more, much more better uh, yes I, I, I think I like it now so you, you can see that some things have changed so um, the next thing I'm going to do is look at the menus now observe something all those menus that we added are not showing here the reason is very simple we have changed the theme we've changed the template and we have not set the menu to follow the positions of this particular template every template you use has its own position so to check the position like I said you will you come back here let me go back here um, extension you go to templates you go to styles and then you see all the templates that you installed and you check the one that's on default and then click the I there's an I symbol there just click on it then you see the particular templates and the positions that are there and um, what I'm seeing here this is what I want to do I want to set my menu the member menu and admin menu to um, I think position sidebar B that's what I want to use yes position sidebar B so I'll go back here sorry go back to our back end go to extension I'll go to module I'll go to module and these are the modules I have um, member menu see is on position 8 so I'll simply click on member menu for it to open as soon as it opens I will come to where I have position here you see position here and I will say I want this guy to be on sidebar B okay this vantage sidebar B I've shown you how this works before if you're just watching this video or you just stumbled on it on YouTube or Facebook just try and get the other videos so that you can follow up or probably attend a, a, a training <laughs> so that you get the complete package but with this you can also see how this works in case you've been having issues with setting your positions so I will just click on save and close I'm not doing nothing here anymore save and close okay so I have member menu on sidebar B let me go back here and refresh let's see what we have if the member menu will show yes now this is our member menu it's showing it's showing so this 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 if i click on member control panel to give me the control panel for the members that's for you that, are that is going to be using this website yes now this is what we're talking about if i click on compose sms it's going to show me compose sms it's that simple uh for the admin of course yes this is it for the admin you also need to do something similar so let me go back there and um, do same thing for the admin and I think I have this here admin menu so I'll click on admin menu and also change the position to I still want to maintain the sidebar B just for these two menu and uh, let me show the title okay so you can see that there is no ad uh, admin menu here for now but let me refresh so let's see what we have after refreshing okay you're saying spc4 admin menu that's the title and then followed by the member menu okay so it's it's that simple actually and um, sidebar b sidebar b i can edit this name 
if I don't want the SPC4 to show, I can go back here and I say this name should just be admin menu. And uh, maybe I want it to be after the after the uh, what's it called? I want it to be after the member menu, below the member menu. What I'll simply do. Uh, but I think I'm 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 okay with where it is. I'm okay with where it is. So I don't. What I'll simply do is just come here, ordering. I will click on member menu, and then I will say save and close. I've changed the name now to admin menu, and then I've also changed where it will be showing. So that means the members will show first before admin. Remember members is not available to everybody now see what we have so member is up and then admin follows so that is about um, menu position and we are still on course in developing our book sms website we are going to add other menu like the menu that's going to be up here we're going to add the menu up here um, for maybe home page about us uh, services don't worry there are a thousand out there are just so many positions we can use we are also going to add the slideshow and probably do some more configuration on this website so thank you very much for seeing this video that's uh, about many position any position you want is here so what you simply do you add it you go back here you refresh you see how it looks if it's not okay by you you go back to your preview you you check another position you you add it okay let's say i i want one now to be on position side by a side by a what i'll simply do is i i go back here and i say admin I want the admin now to be on side by A. So I will just say side by A. I'm just typing side by A and then save and close. Okay, let's see. Let me refresh so you see what I'm talking about. It was here, it's here now. It's refreshing. Okay, fine. So you now see that the admin is now on this part, this side by A, why this other part is side by e, B. So any position you want is available here at your back end, at your preview menu. So you just see it and then you choose it. Well, I'm taking it back to side by B, I'm taking it back to side by B. So admin. taking it back to side by B and I want it to come after this okay that's already there so I'll save and close and then let me refresh this it's refreshing Okay, so um, that's all we have. We have that there. Um, like I said, I want this to be after member menu. So I want I want the member menu to be up before I assess my admin part, and that's been done. Let me refresh. okay so that's how you can play around that and um, in previous in next uh, in subsequent videos I'll be showing you the site setup and we'll go on from there my name is still Emmanuel Jonathan I hope to see you in the next video 
and if you want to join us for any of our training do well to send me an email on uh, my email address or check on this website and uh, contact us via whatsapp or any any um, social media network you would want facebook we are available on facebook on youtube twitter instagram just um, connect with us for more of this thank you very much see you in the next tutorial